Yo, what is up guys? It's Pedro here. Today we kind of have some sad news. So Redskins wide receiver Emmanuel Hall tore his Achilles. If you guys are new, subscribe for Redskins and NFL content. So let's get right into it. So really no one has reported on it, but he did announce on his Instagram. I'll read it in a bit. But first, let's if you guys don't know who Emmanuel Hall is, he was an absolute beast at Missouri. He ran a 439 40-yard dash at the combine a couple years ago, had a 43.5 vertical leap, and he was gonna be a wide receiver that competed for that last wide re wide receiver spot for the Redskins. And I thought he was going to lose that battle to someone like Isaiah Wright or a veteran wide receiver. But I did think he was going to make the practice squad for us because he is such a dynamic and explosive player. He has such good potential. Six foot three, 195 pounds. In college, he was a beast at Missouri. And yeah, in his last year, he played in only eight games but had 828 yards, six touchdowns. Was an absolute beast and same thing as Junior was really good. So he has really, really good potential that was playing with Drew Locke, who is an uh, NFL quarterback. But he's just really good. And he didn't make the Redskins roster year one. I do think he made the practice squad. But this year, we don't know what he was doing in the offseason and how he was getting ready. If he could have developed a lot and possibly made the team. I'm going to read what he said on his Instagram for you guys. So he said... So for those that don't know, about a month ago while running routes and getting ready for training camp, I tore my Achilles. I have never second-guessed uh, what I want from my life. I fell in love with the game at seven years old and have been obsessed ever, uh, ever since. One thing I have learned in the past two years is that perception is everything. If you have your mind right, it will always take your life from point A to point B. Even though this is a major setback, I'm going to bounce back. I'm determined. I want to thank all the people who have supported my career ever since I stepped on the field. Just know I'm working. Hashtag HTTR. I hope he gets back because I really like him. I really think he can be a de decent receiver. But again, the injuries for the Redskins start now. I mean, it's not a big injury. Again, he wasn't going to be at best. He was going to make the ro uh, roster as a sixth or maybe fifth wide receiver. So it's not like we're losing a huge impact player. But again, injury bug has hit us, and this is not going to go away, guys, because if you think about it, these guys, a lot of these guys haven't played football really since the season ended, or maybe they were training in February or early March, but because of this pandemic, they haven't really been able to train much. Some of them don't have any weights or anything, so when training camp hits, there's going to be a lot of players out of shape, and I suspect not only for the Redskins, but for teams throughout the NFL, I expect a lot, a lot of injuries because just players aren't going to be in shape and they're going to be rushed back because they did not have OTAs or minicamp, which usually gets them into shape for training camp. So hopefully, I think coaches like Ron Rivera, who are veteran coaches, are going to slow them into it, ease them into um, before they get actually into training camp. Hopefully, they do that. Hopefully they take the first week and just do some conditioning and stuff just to get the players ready because trust me guys, there's going to be a lot of injuries and I do think it's going to be another year for the Redskins where we have some injuries just because, not because our team's injury prone, but just because of the fact that we really haven't had anything before training camp, but I don't think it's just going to be an issue for the Redskins. I think it's going to be an issue throughout the NFL, but yeah, overall, this is pretty sad, I think. Uh, he's has pretty good talent and he could have contributed this year. I think he had a chance to make the roster. It was really, if they were keeping six, it's between him, Cam, or yeah, Cam Sims, Isaiah Wright and others, and maybe a wide receiver that we sign in free agency. But now it's probably really means that Isaiah Wright is pretty much a surefire pick to make the team. Not necessarily surefire, but I would give it an 80% chance just because another wide receiver or went down, so he doesn't really have too many players to compete with. He just has to compete with Trey Quinn, Cam Sims, and Cody Latimer if his situation goes up. But yeah, overall, I think the wide receivers that are going to make the team, obviously you got Terry McLaurin, uh, Kelvin Harmon, Steven Sims, AGG, and then I got Isaiah Wright. So those are the five right there. And then I do think they're going to sign a veteran wide receiver, so I think that is going to be the sixth wide receiver. Let me know what you guys think. I know this is upsetting news it's not a big big deal but it's just upsetting that we already got an injury before really training camp even started and it really sucks for Emmanuel Hall because he had really good potential and this was really his first year he was probably going to get a 
a chance to make a roster this year, and he was working really hard in the offseason, so you don't even know what his development was. Maybe he uh, could have made a big impact on the team. We will never know. We will have to wait till year three. Let me know what your guys' reaction on this. No one's reported on this. I don't know uh, how long it's going to take, but yeah. Thanks for watching. I do hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please smash the like button. Subscribe if you're new, and peace. Join the channel membership if you can. Link in the description. Peace.